Good morning, Woodside. Today is Friday 22nd and it's a white day. Today for lunch is Salisbury steak with a sweet roll, mashed potatoes, and gravy. For Monday 25th, it's cheese pizza crunches with the vegetable of the day. For Tuesday 26th, it's Asian chicken with vegetable fried rice and stir-fried veggies. And for Wednesday 27th, it's 12 chicken popcorn chicken bites with our whole grain cookie with mashed potatoes. And lastly, Thursday 28th lunch is hot ham and cheese pretzel slider with California blend vegetables. And now we're on with the birthdays. Next up, Elena and Symphony with the weather forecast. Good morning, Woodside. Let's take a look at the forecast for this weekend. Today will be a cloudy day and will reach the high of 55 degrees and the low of 28 degrees. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 42 degrees and a low of 27 degrees. And on Sunday, it will be sunny with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. Have a fantastic day, Woodside. Bye. Bye. March 22nd is National World Water Day. March 23rd is National Puppy Day. March 24th is National Right to Truth Day or International. March 25th is National Medal of Honor Day. March 26th is National Science Appreciation Day, Live Long and Prosper Day, Purple Day, Spinach Day, and a lot more. And that's because it's National Make Up Your Own Holiday. March 27th is National Scribble Day. Did you know that the first Women's History Day celebration was in the United States in 1909? More than seven decades later, Congress in 1981 established a National Women's History Week to be commemorated annually the second week of March in 1981. In 1987, Congress expanded that week into a month. Taylor Swift is an American singer-songwriter. Her artistry, songwriting, and entrepreneurship have influenced the music industry and popular culture. A subject of widespread public interest, Swift has been an advocate of artists' rights and has had a political impact. Swift began professional songwriting at the age of only 14. Helen Keller was an American author, disability rights advocate, political activist, and lecturer. She was born in West Alabama and lost her eyesight and hearing after suffering from rubella, scarlet fever, and meningitis at the age of only 19 months old. Helen Keller was the first person to earn a college degree with deaf and blindness. She worked at a voodoo circuit and she was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in 1953.
Purdue versus UConn, final game. I think Purdue is going to win. UConn's going to win it, and then probably Purdue and Northwestern is going to probably make it far. I think in the final two, it's going to be UConn and North Carolina. UConn's going to take it home, but um, it's going to be a very close game. Okay. I think Purdue will win because they're a good team, and I've seen them play basketball. <laughs> Uh, I think Purdue will win because it's a good team. I think Michigan State is going to win and take it all. I think UConn's going to win. My final four for the March Madness bracket is FAU, Purdue. I have San Diego State and then Baylor. I have FAU. I think that they're going to win by five. Final four is Arizona, Auburn, Marquette, and my heart said Purdue. So final being Arizona Marquette with Arizona winning it all. My final four are UConn, Baylor, Houston, and Purdue. Against all better judgment, I couldn't figure out who else to pick, but I do have Purdue winning my bracket. All right, 2024 tournament. This is my Wilson's just a dream bracket because I do have Purdue winning, and I do think that would just be a dream considering their past history. Uh, especially the last few years in the tournament. I like Illinois. They have a high scoring offense, but I think Iowa State's going to knock them off in the Elite Eight. Um, I like Alabama. Big time. They, they've scored the most points this season out of any team. If they get their offensive rolling, it is hard to stop them. Uh, so I like them in a tough game versus North Carolina uh, to squeak into the Final Four. Uh, Houston, their defense is phenomenal. Uh, they've been one of the top three seats three teams all season, but I like the Big East team Marquette. Uh, they have played tough. Uh, they were in the Maui invite early in the year, and, and they showed how great of a team they can be. But yeah. those mid-major teams, I feel Purdue can get past the mid-major, they're okay. They're the only team uh, that has beat every uh, top 25 ranked team during the season. They were 7-0 and throughout the season, um, so they show up for the big game. Uh, Purdue playing Marquette, UConn playing Alabama for a UConn-Purdue showdown. Uh, probably somewhere in the 70s for the final score for both teams. It's going to be a really close game. Uh, but hopefully just a dream, Purdue takes it. Week of March 25th to the 29th, strong focus. Genuine, using kind words, helping others, and being an upstander. Thanks for tuning in, Warriors. Reminder, next week is only a four-day week. So it will be red, white, red, right, and no pink day. Have a wonderful weekend, Warriors. See you next week.